All right, we are ready to move on to the next topic, which is conjunction and disjunction. And these are just fancy terms for and and or. So suppose I have two statements. Let me change color here. I have statements P and Q. I can form two new statements, which are the conjunction of P and Q, which is written like this with this little wedge thing, and the disjunction of P and Q. All right, so this is the conjunction. Conjunction, and this is the disjunction. And we tend to read this as P and Q, and this guy as P or Q. So let's define what these mean. And we're going to define them in the same way that we define negation, which is through truth tables. But now it's a little bit different because now we have four different configurations. So let's define P and Q. So P has two possible values, true and false. Q has two possible values, true and false. So when should this be true? How do we want to define this? Well, P and Q should be true when both of them are true, and then false otherwise. Right? I mean, that's a pretty reasonable definition. That's what we mean when we say and in English. So let's define P or Q now. Read in the same way with the truth table. We have four possible configurations. All right. Now we have really two options. We could define this as P or Q is true when exactly one of them is true, but not both. Or we can define P or Q is true when at least one of them is true, and maybe both. And we're going to choose the latter, and this is pretty much universal in mathematics. So P or Q is true when one of them is true, but not the other, which are those two possibilities, or both of them is true. And it's false if neither of them are true. And this is how we define or. So there you go. Conjunction and disjunction. That's all there is.